Hello everyone, this is Omega45 and welcome to another episode of Modded Minecraft. I'm down here in another room that I finally finished off building. And uh, behind me I'm building a small big reactor. Um, not too big. Uh, it's not very tall as opposed to the other one. So we're going to rip apart the other one and then I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to put half of the capacitor banks on this side and half of them on this side and um, hopefully it'll look pretty good. So let's head over to the other base. The um, the reactor glass is going to take forever to take down, but that's okay. Let's just turn this off. Let's pull out any allurium. I really should let it run off, but oh well. Decided to go for a minute. I'll fill the I'll fill the capacitor bank up and then I'll um I'll start taking it down. Okay, well I got bored and I didn't want to have to wait, so we're gonna start this now. It's gonna teleport those reactor casings everywhere. Cause when you hit an enderium, it teleports you. I think it's like anywhere within like twelve eight block, something like that. It's not far, but it's still really annoying. And let's just put all these away because I can reuse all this and I don't like making more because it takes forever. And plus I'm trying to save my ender essence because it takes a while to grow. I only have like 60,000. I mean yeah that's a lot and it's enough to make a couple thousand ender pearls but still. The less I have to remake the better. Alright, so we can start taking down this stuff, I believe. As I said, the reactor glass is going to take forever, so I'll probably do that one off camera. Because I don't want to bore you guys with that. Because this is how fast it breaks. Isn't this fun? Yippee. Alright, so I'll um, work on this and I'll be back when it's all done. I'll meet you guys at the other base. Alright, so I have everything. Let's head over to the other room. If this will all load. <laughs> also, this has been running. I, I left this to run overnight um, along with my, my digging machine. So I have quite a bit of... Um, UV matter now, it's pretty nice. That's completely full and I have a ton of scrap. Oh, I also made two more H, or not HU solars, uh, ultimate hybrid solars. So I have, what is that, six now? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I have six now. It's pretty good. So, oh, you may hear one of my roommates yelling in the background. He's playing Dota and he gets really into it, so sorry about that. Um, all right, so let's put the glass in. I'm guessing I want to have the conduits coming out of the top because I thought that looked really cool. So let's put those up here. Not there. Right there. Okay. Let's put the other ones over here. And then let's put these in here. You know, just the normal way to set up a reactor. Nothing special. This isn't a liquid cooled one yet. Um, I'm working on that. I've actually never used turbines before, so it'll be kind of an interesting endeavor for me. Um, I'm still waiting to have enough cyanite, I believe. I'm almost positive I'm still pretty low on it. So I think I have like 2k. So once I have, I'm probably going to say 5,000, I'll start my big, like big, big build. And I'll see how much I'm missing. And if I'm missing that much, I'll just run this reactor 24/7. I won't have the uh, um, like the off button 
or the the automatic kill for when the storage is full. And I'll just run it all the time because I have like 230,000 Eulorium or something like that. Let's see, how much Eulorium do I have? Yeah, 237,000. So I think I'll be good for a little while. And if not, I can set up laser drills and just get more. All right, let's finish this off. Hopefully I have enough reactor glass because I really don't want to go make more. All right, that looks like it's all complete. How much do I have left? Oh wow, I have quite a bit left. So we'll see if this is actually good enough. Let's grab our reinforced tank. And I'm sorry, wondering why the diamond blocks are here. Um, I don't know if this is still true, but it used to be true that if you use diamond blocks, it would increase the performance of the cooling, make it more efficient. So I don't know if that's still true or not, but I'm just going to go with it. Having these tanks is so nice. Ooh, I'm not going to have enough. That's fine though. I have a ton sitting in my other base, so I'll be back and I'm gonna just finish this guy off and um, I'll show you the final product. Alrighty, so here we go. It's all built uh, and together. And the surprising thing is, I, I turned it on. It has almost the exact same energy output as uh, as the last reactor, which I think is pretty hilarious. So um, now we get to go through the fun part of moving all of the cell or the 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 why well, can't I remember the name? Capacitors. There we go. I gotta move all the capacitors. That's gonna take a while, so um, I think I'm just gonna put like two two banks on each side. I kind of want them in the floor. I think that'd be cool. Um, so I'm I'm debating whether I want them in the floor. So I'll probably put one up and then one on the floor, or put them in here. Um, like in these two things, because these were originally gonna be farms, but I have those on the outside. Um, I'm probably I probably need to add more. But you know, I'll try a few things and I'll be back when I figure out kind of what I want. Okie dokie, so this is what I have. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it like this or what, but for right now it's going to be fine. I'm going to make some more capacitor banks because I have like that 19,000 electrical steel, which is awesome. Um, and then I'm thinking I'm going to put like cells or something in somewhere around in here too. So let's see, these are one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six across by. Oh crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many more blocks does it need to go? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by six by nine. So let's see. That is. Six times six times nine. Times two. I need 828 capacitor banks. So let's make 400. Hopefully this actually works and doesn't get like stuck crafting again. Usually resetting this thing has been helping because this is this is the guy that makes all my glowstone. Yeah, I don't know why, but that does something. Okay, well, uh, looks like I'm gonna have to wait for these to craft up. I'm gonna put some coal, uh, coal blocks. If I could type, that'd be nice. Um, no. I'm going to manually have some of these ground down. One of these should be full. Yeah, that one. Oh, well. There we go. So that should be plenty of coal dust for these. At least for the, like a little while. 
So I'll be right back. So I just wanted to show you guys these before I place them. I have 400 capacitor banks, pretty awesome. Um, and it used about 9,000 electrical steel. So not terrible, but um, I'll have enough to make the other 800 or the other 400 or so. So yeah, I'm gonna place all these. All right, so I'm crafting up some more solar panels, right? And it's just, it's been sitting here for about five minutes. So if I do shift click, whoa, all these other things pop up. So that's my problem. Um, I know I've mentioned this like a million times, but it's really aggravating and it's really getting in the way because um, I'm like over crafting things and it's really annoying. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Alrighty, so here are the two capacitor banks. They're not completely done yet. This one's a little short, um, but this one, I don't know if I want to keep it like that because I kind of I kind of like the the L shape. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I have t well three test racks. These the two that are active right now are uh, feeding the main system, and then the one that's not is for the um, the quarry or the borehead pretty much. So I just activate this one when I need it. But these both will, well, that one will eventually hold, but this one right now holds about 1.9 billion RF, so it's not bad. Um, and the, the reactor is actually running right now, but it always pulls out this one first and then that one. Um, so I'll have to figure out some kind of shutdown system or, or whatever. I'm not sure what I want to do, or well, not shutdown, uh, activation system or whatever. So I'll, um, I'll think of that. But in the meantime, my borehead has actually been running a while and I have some more bauxite and um, when you electrolyze bauxite you get a bunch of hydrogen so I have about 20,000 bauxite left um, out of the like 150,000 that I was electrolyzing so I'm going to set up two tanks and actually start storing that hydrogen um, um, so that I can use it for when I start my fusion reactor fuel so I mean there's no reason to waste it I might as well keep it so I'm going to set up two tanks over here uh, I cut this wall out I'll probably put some more in or something like that or I might put them in the ground and have them going down that I'm actually pretty cool yeah I'm gonna do that um, or put them right there yeah I'm gonna put them in there and then I have them going down I'll probably do three or four on each side so that's what I'm gonna do um, and then I may or may not set up some way of actually creating more hydrogen just to keep it um, keep the production up because if you have one like three or four electrolytes is going for days on an end, it's going to be a lot easier for when I actually start up my um, fuel production. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here we are. <clears throat> Originally I had, well this is just the first set. Um, my FPS has actually been dropping a lot, so um, this might switch into a quantum tank later, but that'll come later. Um, I actually only had one fluid transposer going earlier, and now I have two um, because it just couldn't keep up. So if we look at the cell production, um, I am, that's actually going up. It drops every once in a while because I put new cells in, but it is definitely going up. And I only have 19,000 bucks I left. So it'll get me a little bit of hydrogen before, um, before these run out. Yeah, I got 10 per. So not bad. All right. Um. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Um. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to, but um. Again, things have been kind of hectic uh, with me in the last few days. So uh, I'm sure I'll get some more going early. Oh yeah, I also put this up. So this is creating iridium now. I have all the EU I need. It just takes forever to do the EU matter, and it has four overclockers in it. And I don't want to put any more in because that means the power requirements just gonna be like off the chart. So, um, yeah, this is so annoying. The new ICT replication is just so awful. I hate it with a burning passion. Um, the fact that this takes this long is just ridiculous. Like I have the supply, why can't you just go? Ah. So yeah, that's pretty awful. But. Um, you matter supply is actually pretty good. I have 10 also hybrid solar panels. That's pretty good. So if you look at my, I've been doing some more mining, so that's mostly why I had the iridium, but if you look at it now, I only have 543 left. So 
Not bad. What I really should be doing is setting up a um a tunnel boring machine not a tunnel bore, a um Yeah, I think it's just called a boring machine from Rotorcraft and putting silk touch on it. And just letting that go forever and then putting the uh iridium ore through a uh what you call it. I I can't remember. Let's just see. It was like the crazy machine that gives you five extra everything. Um, there it is, the extractor. You put if you put a radium ore through an extractor, you get fifteen per radium ore. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, so I have to look into that. Ooh, my scenario parts are done. Woohoo! That's what that's what has been using most of my power recently. Like is just this thing, so much. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna call it for this episode. Um. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the next one yet, but we will we'll see when we get there. So thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.